Hey Lance, it's uh, Super Bowl Sunday. I just wanted to show you a couple things since this might be picked up tomorrow. Don't know if you know if you've had a boat before or not. We've got, uh, I keep these in here. These we affectionately call the butt plugs, but really all they are is there's a hole back here in the jet drive. And all boats have this somewhere. But this goes in here and then you twist it real tight. Um, the more you twist it tight, this little uh, piece balloons up the less you twist it it comes back out there's two of them in the boat you've got to put them in obviously before you back it into the water um, when you back it into the water you just pull these a couple of straps off right here and uh, with the our little butt plug in there the back will float up off the trailer and then you just loosen up the, the uh, strap up front and back her off and she'll get out um, there's a uh, dock rope is just that just have whoever's in the boat you know hold it to the dock and then the fire extinguishers down there I got you a cool chrome one hang on one sec okay just open the hood or whatever you want to call it there's just uh, two latches underneath here that hold it down it folds forward and just kind of leans on the seats is fine in the motor there's not really too much to that you need to worry about here there is no dipstick so when you change the oil you'll see in that book I think it says six quarts you go ahead and just fill it with six quarts there is a down here let's see if I can get it for you there's a connector and it looks like a garden hose connector right there and what you do is you would unscrew that and screw it into a hose and turn on the hose and let it let the water run through it for a minute and that allows you to do driveway starts when you're done after running the boat in your driveway or whatever go ahead and make sure to connect it back in here because the green part is where the um, jet drive actually pumps the water through the engine so again if you're going to run it longer than 30 seconds or so just make sure you've got that done over here again in the back of the boat is this little hose and it's greasy because it's your oil change hose so you take this and you stick it out the hole where the butt plug goes and take this cap off and the oil will drain out and then the oil filter is just right down there you'll see what kind it is it's for a 455 olds um, I suggest you change the oil after you've run it in the driveway for a little bit to get the oil hot so it flows out a little easier crank up the trailer to make it uh, lean back a little bit and that's really all there is to do. There's a, uh, right there, there's the, the water pump, I mean the uh, fuel pump. A little farther down there's something called a water separator. It looks like a replaceable cartridge and it takes water out of the fuel. But uh, I've never changed it since I've had this and I don't really know if there's much of a need to. Uh, oil goes in right there. Let's see what else. Uh, put a new alternator on it. That's the new alternator. It doesn't need anything. Charge is fine. Let me see what else can I show you. Uh, these air cleaners, they're not really air cleaners, they're not replaceable, they're metal. They're called spark arresters, just if it backfires or flames, that kind of stops the flame from coming out. Um, let me close up the, the cover here and hang on one sec. Okay, you got the engine cover closed back down and again it just kind of clicks into those lips. It all kind of fits nicely down there. The entire thing's on some hinges that are right there. That bottom part stays bolted to the bottom of the boat. This is part of the restore process if you want to put some better bolts in there and stuff. The back here, um, this cable right here is the one that controls the gate. There's only, there's no uh, propeller obviously, so when you've got the boat in forward, this gate is open all the way, all the jet, all the propulsion's coming out of it. When it's in reverse, this closes down and the water comes down through here and shoots out and pushes the boat backwards. Um, this is the, the steering cable. I know it's hard here, but it's a cable inside the boat that goes all the way up behind the steering wheel. That's a brand new cable. You never need to replace it. You'll see here that the gate one is kind of cracked and stuff. doesn't give any problems whatsoever. Um, keep in mind, when, if you've never driven a jet boat before, when you go to turn, it only turns if you're giving it gas because just imagine even if this is in the open position but there's no throttle there's no rudder on it so just keep that in mind don't crash the boat the switches up here um, you've got your regular gauges and then you've got switches that probably used to be labeled this one listen that turns on a blower motor that's a coast guard requirement it enables all the 
um, gas fumes to get out of the boat, but being that the engine compartment's kind of open, I actually don't use it. The one you want to know a lot of is this one right here. When you pull that, that takes all the water out of the bilge. Undoubtedly, you always get water in the bilge, especially when you're skiing and stuff. When this is pulled, you'll see back here, there's this hole, and water will come out of here if there's water in the bulge and in the bilge. If there is no water back there, nothing's going to be coming out of here, so you can just turn it off. So you can either pull it yourself and look and wait till it stops, or just have people keep an eye open for you. Um, this last switch here, these are the lights, just does the lights on the dashboard and also the running lights up here, one on that side, one on the other side. They're uh, red and green, I think. Hang on one sec. All right, and I know you've seen it before. I'll just show you one more time how to start it. Oh, and there's Nat. Nat, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> this is my wife. All right. Um, to start the boat, this is the same whether you're in the water or in the driveway or whatever you're doing or just kind of letting the juices flow. You take this, which opens that gate in the rear. See, when I push it like that, the gate in the back of the pump actually opens. So if you were in the water and you left it forward like that and started the boat, it's going to take off. So make sure that you pump the gas by doing this because it's connected to the throttle also. You pump the gas, but then put it back, make sure it's in neutral position if you're in the water, okay? And just take the key, let's see if she fires. That's it. That's about as long as you want to run it out of the water. You know, it just gets the oil flowing around and stuff. The it won't heat up for about 30 seconds, 45 seconds. At that point, you want to have the garden hose hooked up or make sure you're backed into some water. Um, let's see. All the seats just kind of pop out because they get wet when you go skiing. Just make sure to throw them out. Let them sit in the sun. That's fine. There's some storage there. On the other side of it, over there, is where the battery is. Um, it's a new battery so you shouldn't need to jump it and you don't really need to disconnect it because the wiring's all golden on this thing. The seats themselves, these seat units here, are actually, they're supposed to be, um, there's these little fiberglass tabs, you can't screw them to the floor, but there's fiberglass tabs and you fiberglass them where they're supposed to be. The boat when I got it, the fiberglass tabs over years had broken off so it makes the seat movable which made me go out and buy the fiberglass stuff until I got in the boat and went to drive it. I'm six foot two, so I like to pull the whole seat back a little bit, give me some more leg room. Um, cuts up the leg room for the kids or whoever you put in the back. So you can figure out how you want to do that, find where you want them, and then when you pull the seat out of the boat, you'll actually see where you can fiberglass it. I'm gonna send you, this stuff will be in there. This is the fiberglass uh, resin itself. This is the cloth that they use, and here's the activator for the resin. Um, I don't know if you've ever worked with fiberglass, but whatever you use to mix this stuff, touch this stuff, it's junk after you do it. So make sure you're just using cheap household stuff. Um, let me see what else. Uh, that light cover was already missing, so you know your guy that's towing it for you didn't do it. Um, that's really it, dude. Um, take good care of her. I love her. And uh, maybe someday I'll be chasing you down, begging you to sell it back to me. Anyway, enjoy, my friend. Call me with any issues. Bye.